So DRL has found a new sponsor uh, in cryptocurrency, a company called Algorand. Mm. Uh, has now sponsored DRL for a hundred million dollar deal. Hundred million dollars. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Wait, are they paying them in crypto? Oh, <laughs> uh, the details <laughs> were not made public. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, um, but yeah, so pretty much. Uh, Essentially, they just got a new sponsor. They got a $100 million injection over however they're going to get it over the next five years, um, and they have a new partner. Um, so Algorand uh, is basically uh, a, a new blockchain or a, another option for blockchain and people mm -hmm. to use the blockchain in a certain way. It's a new um, crypto coin, right? No, I think it's... No, it's a blockchain for crypto coins. So there is an what? algo cryptocurrency... But there's a blockchain called Algorand, and Algorand is a public blockchain. Um, but I believe so, that technology can be used for other things. Like it's meant for people who want to use a crypto and a blockchain for some shit they're doing with their program. So then, hey, you can use Algorand for that. That's my understanding. It's a, sort of an agnostic blockchain. You can store whatever data you want on the Algorand blockchain, and that data might be data related to cryptocurrency transactions, but it might be NFTs. It might be you know, red cat, black box log in from, I don't know, whatever. No, Is that the no, idea? I'm 100% sure. Basically, they say, here, I'll just read their thing. The public okay. version of the Algorand blockchain is primarily designed to enable other developers to create new kinds of applications fueled by cryptocurrency. It's been currently used in real estate, copyright, microfinance, and more. Um, and it's open source. So. Cool. That's what I got. Some <laughs> Somehow, though, they have $100 million to give to... Uh, DRL over the five think, years, so I that's a kind of a big value, deal. Yeah, they're valued at two hundred million dollars. They started in twenty fifteen. I I um I know how my grandfather felt when the VCR was blinking twelve, and you just look <laughs> at it and you go, "What even is this?" Because, <laughs> like, I feel like I grasp what a like as much as a, a, any sort of layperson could. I feel like I grasp the idea behind Bitcoin. But then you're like, here's Algorand. It's worth $200 million. They have a crypto. Yeah, they're not really a cryptocurrency. What are they? What are they doing? Where does the value come from? I have no idea. And uh, I'm kind of resented. <laughs> <laughs> My understanding anyway. is the tech takes a lot of work on the back end to like build the way the blockchain works and how it all works together and how all the servers communicate and all that jazz. So it's open source. Just you start a coin, you start a Bitcoin. Uh, you know, like a Dogecoin or a, anybody can do it. How is that worth? I've just started one. It's the Bardwell coin. It's worth $200 million. Fantastic. Anyway, but, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Sell, uh, sell that as an NFT. I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell me going, you know, some of the noises I make about quadcopter, you know, buh, 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 buh. that's an NFT. Boom. $20,000. <laughs> okay. It's a All currency right. about nothing, Jerry. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want a sketch of Seinfeld learning about Bitcoin. Kramer gets into Bitcoin. <laughs> anyway.